Hey, hey, Reaper team, welcome back, guys. What's going on? It's May 25th, so uh, take one on the fluke adventure was uh, just not a great day. Um, I could only fish the afternoon due to work and time and sleep constraints. Uh, I think by the time I got out, the tide had um, you know started flooding in, and they wanted the outgoing, so it was slow. I only picked a couple fluke. Got a decent weak fish, um, but it was literally 85 degrees, zero breeze. Normally, I don't want any breeze, but the gnats were just gnarly. The worst I'd ever seen it, so um, it was kind of a bit of a fiasco. I lost a couple nice fluke, actually, but we've had a little bit of a cold front here. It has dropped the water temp, so hopefully they bite, uh, but today I'm going to fish the outgoing, and it's beautiful out. Oh, my God. The sun is not shining. It's a little bit of breeze, and I'm in a long sleeve shirt, which is the weather I like. It's only about 65 degrees out, maybe not even. Uh, I'm already done with the hot and humidity. Uh, ah, I just don't like it anymore now that I'm old. But anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping. I'm gonna go fill up the little boat with some uh, some uh, gasoline and uh, I will see you guys out on the water and hopefully we can uh, put together a better catch today. All right, guys, we finally got a fluke. Oh, he popped off. That felt like a good one, too. Ah. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't think that's a fluke. I have no idea what we got here, guys, but this thing is flying. Holy shnikes, what the hell do we got? What in God's name do I have one here? What in God's name? What in the heck? What's going on here? I can't even stop this thing, guys. This is crazy. This Which way is this around? All right, we got a little problem here. We got some fish on. All right, we got a good problem to have. We got a fish on here. Look, we got a fluke on there. Okay, he popped off. I have no idea what I have here, guys. It has to be a striper or a shark. I don't know. Ray, maybe? All right, but there's definitely some fluke here. Okay. Wow, what the heck do I have? I gotta watch he doesn't get around these, uh, what you call it, you know? There's definitely a fluke bite here for sure, guys. This is cool. I just had another one on there. Let's see what I got. Don't get around there. get this out of the way here what do I got it's got to be a striper it's only that makes sense you know, I just like to see them well we stay away from there guys I only have a 20 pound leader so this will be a feat if I can get it it's got to be a ray or I have no idea what we got arms like sore stay away from that troll motor stay away from that troll motor I just want to see it all right guys we finally found some life here though it's got very dead weight on me there oh my god look at that Biggest dog shark ever. Well, that for that. Damn it. Mm, that rod bent. Mm. That's why. Okay. All right. Popped him off. Today has just uh, not been my day. Um, the bugs are just absolutely brutal. It's a thousand degrees out. Um, I finally found some body of fish and I lost two nice ones, I mean, right away. Um, it's like we got that shark bite and that was it. Come on, baby, it. 
There you go. I got a fluke. I got a fluke. All right. Our first one of the trip. Jeez. Took a long enough. All right. Little guy. Whoa. Another freaking shark. Come on, man. Oh, a shark. Come on. Where are all these sharks here? Shark galore back here, guys. Jeez. I don't understand why. Come here, get over here. God damn you. Come on. Just getting frustrated now. Just not having a good day. All right, guys, we got a pattern now. We got a pattern now. Now we got a pattern. Now we got a pattern. Just keep this boat right on this channel edge. Now we got a pattern. Well guys, we had a quick little flurry there and uh, running out of tide now, so just not my day out here. Um, it's fishing, baby. Wind against tide. I'm doing my best with the troll motor. Uh, the bugs are just horrible. Temperature's great. Um, I think I just needed to be here uh, in the morning, but I'm going surfing tomorrow morning and then uh, maybe uh, Monday I'll get back out here, but it's supposed to blow pretty hard out of the east, so I don't know. Tough start to the season here. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Whoa. Check this out. Look at that, guys. Beautiful weak fish. Look at that team. Beautiful weak fish. Let's go ahead and get him released, all right? Come on. Ah! Come on! Ah! Things get derailed big time right about here. There's uh, repetitive curse words. <laughs> lots and lots of curse words going down right about now. <laughs> I broke a rod. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I've had it at this point. <laughs> God, they're just so bad. They're just so bad. The gnats were the worst I'd ever experienced. I mean, they were flying in my nose, in my ears. They were in my eyes. Uh, it just got to be unbearable after a while. Oh, my God. It just keeps freaking me. Oh, my God. Oh. So bad. It's just so bad right now. Oh my god. Ah! God. Ah! Needless to say, I was very much so ready for day one to uh, come to a close here. So let's catch back up with day two action. If you boat anywhere near Atlantic City or Brigantine, New Jersey, you have grown to uh, know and love our local tugboats here and the uh, dredge equipment. Uh, it's been with us for years now, and uh, they're just all over the place. It's really frustrating at times, um, and every now and then they're literally right outside um, the entrance to my lagoon, so I have to kind of navigate around them uh, in the dark. Hey guys, I'm, uh, I'm playing hooky today from uh, Chores. I got a lot of work to do. You guys have seen my deck. I'm going to replace some boards out back and put that layer of paint that kind of fills in the cracks. 
and uh, I got a lot of work to do on the big boat. The big boat's a mess. Our main uh, freshwater pump is not working. Uh, I was troubleshooting that yesterday down in the engine room. Uh, rather, a couple of access rooms, I should say, access hatches, just torting myself. And uh, yeah, it was not fun. I did not enjoy it. So uh, I'm playing hooky today. We're going fluking. Hopefully, we can uh, we get a couple of fish here. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm being uh, being a little kid today and ignoring my uh, adulting. So hopefully, it pays off for you guys. All right, now guys, the water temp is uh, 63.7, and uh, we're right at the top of the tide. It should get a little bit warmer as uh, the tide starts going out. Uh, I'm going to be using just a very simple rig today. I'll show you that um, in a separate clip. Uh, I'm not going to sit there and bucktail all day. Um, they really haven't been responding to that. So, uh, so very simple rig today. Uh, I'll do that in a separate clip. Uh, all right, team, hopefully there's enough light. Um, I really just wanted to show you this rig here, guys. So it's very, very simple. All right, so um, all you really have, so this is 20 or 15 pound Power Pro. God, you could probably get away with 10 pound Power Pro. It's so thin too, it'll really help you cut through. And then, I don't know, 80 to 100 pound barrel swivel, all right? And then I use 20 pound fluorocarbon. And basically what you're doing is using a, the smallest little weight you can get away with. This is um, not even an ounce. This is one ounce, actually. So one ounce weight, the, the lightest weight you can get away with. And then 10 to 12 inches up from that, I have a, a dropper loop about that long, all right? So 4.0 Gamagatsu. All right, not a circle hook, just a regular old Gamagatsu octopus hook, it's called. Um, and what happens is the minnow just sits right up off the bottom like that. And I feel like when the fluke are sluggish, this just gets them going. Um, it's, for me, better than sitting there bucktailing all day. Now, mind you, that's super fun when they're biting it good, but um, sometimes when that water's colder, specifically around the season, they respond to this really well. Now, the conditions have to be right for this. You have to have a very slow drift, so either you control it with the troll motor or really right before and right after whatever tide you're fishing. So, you know, an hour or two before the high and then an hour or two into the outgoing or vice versa. But, uh, yeah, the boat's got to be moving slow because you want that vertical approach. If it's like this, it's not going to work, at least uh, what I've found. You really want it suspended. You want that minnow suspended up above off the bottom. And I feel like the slower that you're moving to, the more that that minnow really gets going up there and uh, just drives the fluke crazy. So, yeah, so again, 80 to 100 pound barrel swivel, 20 pound fluorocarbon at the bottom. You can tie the weight right on there or just do a quick little easy overhand loop uh, so you can change out weight. So that's the rig, guys, nice and simple. I'm going that way. Like, the wind's going this way. Why? That's a good one, guys. Real nice fish. Real nice fish. Real nice fish. There we go. That's proper. There we go. That's a good one. That's what we're looking for. Now, team, that is what we are out here for. That's a nice, proper New Jersey fluke. That'll work. All right. And even neater, he's got something cool in his mouth. Look at that. It's probably the remnants of a, of a mantis shrimp. Yeah, you can kind of see the tentacles there. Or the front of it, I should say. Really nice. Cool. All right, guys. Ow. So, uh, yeah, let's get him on ice and we're golden. That's a little one. This little guy. Come on, baby. Get you off. Okay. 
Oh, missed him. Just barely had the tail. Look at that. Ah, oh, barely had him. Ripped his tail right off. It's fish. Okay guys, we're on to something here baby, we are on to something. Alright guys, we're on to a pattern here, finally. That's a little one, but it's okay. Stinking pattern. We're on a pattern, I like it. Look at him, look how dark you are. He's cool. He's got a little bit of, oh, he hasn't totally... Change his color. He's cool. Jeez. I really wanted it. Ow. Not quite. All right, team, so uh, we're kind of approaching the full moon here, so the tide's really ripping. So we had a good little bite there for about, I don't know, 45 minutes, and then uh, as soon as that tide really started ripping, it just, boom, shut down. So uh, I'm heading back to, um, I tried one little spot. It was just weeded up. Um, so I'm heading over to uh, basically where I was getting bit earlier, and I'm uh, just going to kind of wait for the um, tide to start mellowing out. I got about probably another hour and a half, I guess. So I may just use the trolling motor just to, very very slowly inch down the channel and um, you know start fishing a little bit more aggressively once uh once the tide mellows so uh man it's been a tough tough grind on the fluke grounds um man guys i so much more i so much more prefer getting them out on the wrecks it's just so much more enjoyable um less variables at least in my opinion once you can get out there in here it's weeds it's tides it's other boats it's everything gnats Ugh. So I don't know. I'm trying, guys. Putting on a putting in a lot of work here. Okay, so uh, while I was waiting out the tide there, I actually sprinted home and uh, got some uh, warmer clothes. It's actually really cold out here. Um, stark contrast from just the other day when it was too darn hot. Uh, but I would take this over too darn hot any day of the week, and twice on Sunday. You can always put on more layers, but man, when it's 85 and you know natural surrounding, there's nothing you can do. So. Um, yeah, that tide was ripping, so hopefully when we get back, it'll be just right. We can get one hour of magic time and put another one or two keepers in this boat. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is working. It is working. That one might be close, guys. That one's going to be close. Put in the boat. I think so. It's probably like 16. 10. Wow. Nah. Need some fish. Measure, huh? Okay. okay. Alright. Get you. Okay, only about 17. 17. You're lucky. You're lucky, we man. Okay, well they're here. Okay, baby. Feels like a good one, guys. Feels like a good one, that's a keeper. That feels like a good one. Okay, that's number two. Bingo. Should be 18 and change. Just about. Okay. He really swallowed that. All right, guys. So, just about makes it. 18 inches. I'll take it. Beautiful New Jersey fluke. All right. 
right about here things start to go downhill again you can see that stuff there that's what we call snot grass and it's just annoying uh, you can also see the winds really picking up so it uh, really started to make things uh, prohibitive and um, yeah just difficult fishing so uh, not too long after this I called it a day oh yeah it's starting to bite again guys starting to bite again that's a little one though not a little one Come on, baby, I'll get you. All right, team, that's a wrap. Uh, just too much to contend with. The wind's just gnarly. Uh, we're just about at slack tide now, and the snot grass is just ridiculous. Uh, so only those two keeps. Um, but hey, we caught some fish, and uh, I played hooky for my chore, so I got no complaints. So uh, yeah, as always, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that silly bell, so you get future notifications when I drop videos. And uh, I love y'all. God bless, and thanks for watching. See you.